The month of October did prove to be pretty challenging for farmers as they continued to try to beat the rain to get their crops in. A Purdue Extension corn specialist says the ground may be frozen before some farmers are able to get back into the fields and get their crops out. In today's Indiana Farm Report, we're taking a look at the impact October's rainfall brought to farmers and a look ahead at what November could bring. The more rains we have, the more difficult it is for farmers to get in the fields uh, to get that crop out. Purdue Extension corn specialist Dan Quinn says rainfall continues to push harvesting back for farmers. It potentially could go into December. Of, you know, there's guys that end up, if you have to wait until the ground is frozen, you know, and even in some of our trials, we've had harvest in January. Storm Team 18 Chief Meteorologist Chad Evans says October was an interesting month. What looked to be a, a pretty seamless harvest season, it was going well, it was early. Uh, we had a pretty good planting season. The dry spells weren't great this summer. Now it's just, it shows you how our pattern can flip on a dime and it, and it can be tied to something on the other side of the world. And October did flip on a dime. Evan says it ended up being a record breaking year for rainfall. We've gone to the extreme now. I mean, this is going to go down as the wettest October on record and records for Purdue go back to 1879. So this is significant and we're beating the wettest October on record, which was set in 1919 by uh, we're going to beat it by a good three inches. As the wet conditions continue to push harvest back, Quinn has some concerns. The main thing that we're really concerned about is just the quality of the crop moving forward. So with all the rain that we've had um, and as the harvest gets more and more delayed throughout the season, that basically the quality of that crop begins to deteriorate. Quinn says right now there's still a lot of good yields out there. However, as you push harvest back, that can impact yields because it increases your chance of harvest losses. So whether it be eardrop or those plants falling over or stalk rots moving in. Looking ahead, Evan says he's keeping an eye on what the next few months could bring. I, I think it's going to wetness is going to continue to be a problem. And I, I did go for uh, a bit above normal temperatures. It is going to get cooler. It's November, um, but I went for a bit above normal. And then I think getting into December, especially after Thanksgiving, that's when winter's really going to hit. We'll get a lot of ground freezing, and I think a snowfall will actually end up above normal getting into December. While hoping for good weather to get back into the fields, Quinn says he's heard from some farmers who are only two-thirds done, but he's also heard from some that are completely done. We need to have the correct weather so farmers get in their fields and uh, get that crop out. Now, the total amount of rainfall up yet received in the month of October was just below nine and a half inches.